In the spring, we start thinking about some of those grasses less desirable that we may have in our lawns. In this micro class, we're going to be looking at some of those less desirable grasses. Smooth crabgrass, large crabgrass, and goose grass. These three tend to be the most common summer annual grassy weeds in our lawns that we tend to try to manage. So we're going to look at trying to identify those. Here's smooth crabgrass and look closely at the seed head. It's a raceme. It has three spikes coming out from the top of that stem and the full plant consists of a mother plant with daughter plants connected to it by stolons. Larger hairy crab grass is very similar as far as its appearance, except it is indeed larger and has hairy stems. The flower seed head tends to have several spikes in the raceme. Five to nine is not uncommon. Look at the full plant. The full plant, again, is larger, and you'll notice where the seed heads are coming out, and you'll notice that it has several stolons connecting the mother plant to the daughter plants, and hence the way it spreads. It roots at nodes, so you're noticing the stolons here where the, each node has a root system. And if you were to cut that up, if you were into propagating crabgrass, which I don't think anybody will, you would, could actually create several new plants. If we look at smooth crabgrass comparing to goosegrass, keep in mind that smooth crabgrass has stolons. Goosegrass does not, it has clumps. But they tend to be confused because sometimes the foliage is very similar. Goosegrass has some uniqueness about it. Unlike crabgrass, which will grow in practically any garden soil or lawn soil, goosegrass prefers compacted soils. The seed head is different. It has a very distinct raceme with two spikes coming off from the stem, and the seeds or flowers come off in a herringbone pattern. The full plant is a clumping plant. You notice the seed heads and that V-shaped herringbone pattern coming off from that clump. If we look at a close-up, we see that the stems are flattened as they connect to the crown and bright white. So when we think about controlling these, there's some herbicides to use. pre herbicides for crab grasses need to be applied when the soil temperature approaches 50 to 55 degrees at a 2 to 3 inch uh, depth. This is done with a soil thermometer. Some of the pre herbicides to use include Ronstar, Surflan, Pennant Magnum, Benefin, Team Pro and Crabgrass Goose Grass Preventer in many formulations, and finally 2%. Pre emerged herbicides are also used to control goose grass, but goose grass is unique in that it doesn't germinate until soil temperatures at 2 to 3 inches approach 60 degrees. Now, if you don't manage to get all of the uh, grasses controlled with the pre emerged herbicide, you may have to consider a post-emergent herbicide. And these are usually herbicides we apply after the seedlings emerge, and it may be mid to late April into May. Some of the post-emergent herbicides to consider are one-time, acclaimed ester, tenacity, isolox, some of the various products of MSMA, Polex, and Square One. So now that you know something about this particular set of weeds, you may want to consider taking the full one-hour class. So watch for future microclasses as well as links to the one-hour class, which would be called Those Grasses Less Desirable.